Alright, alrighty, Kiara Frenchica here, coming to you with Affiliate Marketing Without the Website Part 2. Now, if you didn't watch the first part of this video, I recommend that you actually refer to the description below. There is a part one to this video where I do explain some fundamentals about affiliate marketing before I dive into how I do affiliate marketing without a website with YouTube. In part one, I actually go through how I do affiliate marketing without a website uh, and how I do it with Facebook. But before that, I really dive into some um, literally what I call marketing fundamentals you should know so that you guys set yourself up with a lifestyle business for life versus building something up and then watching it crumble and I teach you guys from my mistakes making my first multiple six figures online all right so I will be teaching you guys um, you know the way I do things right now like my current strategy and you know coming a long way because I've learned through my mistakes and I've really hurt myself and I've really left a lot of money on the table because I didn't do things right from day one. Unfortunately, I didn't know better. I didn't know any better. I had to learn through my mistakes. And now what I'm doing through my channel is teaching you guys through my mistakes so you guys can um, do things right from the first time. Now, first off, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so that every time I put out new videos, you guys get to be notified. Now. Um, so in this video, I'll be teaching you guys, um, you know, how to use YouTube to actually get leads and sales without needing a website. And I did this with YouTube. I'm going to show you guys my old channel as well. Uh, this is my new channel. This is how I'm doing things now. In fact, as you guys can see, it's completely brand new. <laughs> like I have little views um, to many of my um, videos, but... Um, what I'm doing right now is um, I'm building it in a way that I build, like I want to build a really good relationship with YouTube. I'm going to talk more about that because this is really important. Um, but before what I used to do is um, I used to do a lot of these review videos and look, in fact, I got 25,000 views. I was pretty amazing with SEO back in the days. Unfortunately, YouTube these days gives importance to different met metrics other than SEO. So, um, you know, I made a lot of money with this video. I think this video alone made me six figures, honestly, with what I was promoting here. Um, this company is still legit, but what happened was, uh, this is Bitcoin mining. Now, like the company was legit. I even went to see the mine before I started promoting this in Iceland because I wanted to see that it's for real before I give my audience something like completely revolutionary, right? Because Bitcoin mining was still very new. So basically what happened uh, with this was Bitcoin mining at the time, you know, this was 2017. Actually, let's open this video because we're going to need to anyway. So this video was in 2017. Let's scroll down a bit if we can. Yeah, here we go. At the time, Bitcoin mining was trending and then all of a sudden, Bitcoin mining increased. It wasn't a BitClub network thing in this case. It was just like a global BitClub, like a Bitcoin mining issue. So, um, yeah. Um, so what happened was people stopped looking for this buying keyword. Okay, this is not an evergreen um, topic. All right. So this is what I meant in the previous video. If you guys watched it, all right, look for these evergreen products to avoid creating all this content. And then it's, it's not, the topic's not trending anymore. And you know, this video the, no longer serves you in a way. All right. And if you really want to have like a solid long-term relationship with YouTube, you want to have the content that you want to have content for a specific niche that's always serving them. So you always have content and topics that or products that are evergreen and you have an evergreen sales machine so that you're always generating leads for your funnel and you've built an asset with YouTube that's always, always getting you traffic and sales to something that's always going to pretty much exist, right? Like if you start answering topics, like for example, my channel is all about affiliate marketing, right? So look at the topics I'm focusing on now. Um, so it's all about affiliate marketing and social media because they fall within the same niche, so to speak. So for example, 
uh, YouTube SEO 2019, Affiliate Marketing for Beginners, How to Turn Your YouTube Channel into a Six-Figure, I think it's Business, yeah. Best Affiliate Program 2019, um, yeah, I talk about a uh, company here, but still, um, I'm going with an affiliate, mar like um, the keyword here is Affiliate Marketing Affiliate Program 2019, and the company I promote here is an evergreen affiliate program, so uh, <laughs> it's basically a business tool. People use it to build their business on, and they pretty much stick with it, so they're never going to unsubscribe unless they decide to completely stop selling or go offline, so to speak. Um, so yeah, um, like the topics here are more like evergreen topics. Uh, how I use Facebook groups. So there's a lot of great content here that I know has more stickability. So people find it, they want to watch it. And this is where, what I want to come to. So if you want, um, you, if you want to start having uh, a lot of traffic to your channel, YouTube this year is focusing more than anything else, more than SEO. So like over here, I was focusing on SEO. All right. And that really works that specific here. But now YouTube is giving so much weight to watch time. How long can you keep people on YouTube? Why? Logic. All right. Is that the lo I'm going to use the logic, right? But I've been studying what different influencers say, and they all say the same thing. It's because at the end of the day, YouTube makes its money by advertising on YouTube. So obviously what they want is influencers to keep people on YouTube, all right? So the longer your watch time, the more your channel will get suggested, and it will get suggested on people's homepages. So if we had to go to my YouTube homepage, okay, what YouTube is gonna do is it's going to give me um, more like I list, I use YouTube to listen to music and I watch a lot of this program look and may have uh, and they give me like I don't even look at I, I don't even watch this specific channel I don't even know what this is but I watch um, it's called marriage at first sight it's like a reality TV show and I watch the blurbs on YouTube uh, like these video blurbs that they they do of the show because I just enjoy the, the drama <laughs> that um, you know, the TV show. So what YouTube does is always going to give me more of what I want and more of what I already watch because YouTube knows what you're subscribed to. It knows more or less what you like. It kind of creates what they call a personal YouTube experience. So they look at what you're subscribed to or what you watch and they'll give you the same and m more of what you can potentially want to watch. So for example, uh, since I listen to music, the first thing that pops up is more mu is, is the music I normally listen to, right? Now, um, I actually watch this, Married at First Sight. This is the channel. I'm not subscribed to it. I just watch. I just watch it. So it gives it, gives it to me as recommended, all right, so that I continue to watch more of this so that I can stay on the channel, all right? And then what it does is it will give me other related um like channels because she, jessica she's one of the of the people um who she actually like participated in this she was one of the participants so obviously um they're getting like you know related videos uh like they're getting videos about her but i wouldn't watch these but they youtube's assuming i would so it would suggest it all right look continue watching um subscriptions so Anything YouTube things will make me stay here so that they can obviously advertise um, to me. Uh, they will just put, um, you know, on my channel, okay? So if you understand this, all right, my, my strategy is going to make sense to you. So what I recommend that you do is you pick a niche, okay? So what is your YouTube channel going to be all about? Pick one niche. Is it affiliate marketing? Is it a fitness? Is it veganism? You decide. Okay, and then what you want to do is keep all your topics centered. Now, in the beginning, um, you want to make sure like for the first six months, you're all about building a relationship with YouTube. Okay, you don't want to link out. Okay, so um, what you want to do is just have um, your videos and just tell people to subscribe and tell people to stay notified like they could hit the notification bell so that they always get 
uh, updated about your newest videos. What you always want to, and what you also want to do is always tell them to watch other videos that you've created on your channel and you can either link them out, all right? You can do them as pop-ups when you edit them or um, you could have like your video links in the description. But you don't want to be linking out like I did with the old channel for the first six months only, okay? Now, as you can see, guys, um, the way um, I used to do this before is I never had a website, I never had a blog, I didn't even have a squeeze page. I went, I used to send them straight to the affiliate link, as you can see over here, and I used to tell them to email me. And I think with this video alone, I probably made six thousand, like I made six figures, not six thousand, six figures with this video. All right, just giving people a review, telling them to enroll here, and giving them my email and the amount of emails I got and I closed through the emails was phenomenal. Like this alone will work. So if you guys don't want to have a website, you want to send them directly to the affiliate link, you can do so. Now, you, obviously, I just told you guys the first six months, you don't want to be doing that. All right. After six months, after you've created 100 to 150 videos with YouTube, where you're just giving pure value content. Okay where you're just telling people like to subscribe to your channel and you're giving them stuff that they want to watch where you're solving problems of your audience so that they actually stick around and watch your content, you're keeping them on YouTube and you're increasing your watch time, all right? That's going to build such a solid credibility. Uh, so going to create so much credibility with YouTube, all right? That YouTube, what it's going to do is it's going to start suggesting your channel to people, okay? And the longer your videos, the better. Why? Because you're more likely to increase watch time because um, you, let's say even if you have a 20 minute video and people only watch eight, that's okay, all right? It's better than having a five minute video and people watch f the full five minutes, okay? Because with the other video, you still had more watch time, all right? So you're gonna build up that watch time more fast. Now, I'm not saying just, just throw content out there, like have strategy, like create presentations like I did with the part one of this topic, all right, and have people um, just, you know, do anything, like do everything you can to keep them on the channel, all right, like link them out to other videos of yours, and, you know, that's going to create that credibility so much faster with YouTube, and then once you start going viral, and, you know, once you've done 100 to 100 videos where you're just giving out stickable content, and you're getting subscribers upon subscribers, once you see your channel building up momentum, and getting like a nice subscriber count, you obviously build such a good cred like such great credibility with YouTube, then start linking out. All right, so that is my strategy with my new channel. So I'm gonna just create content uh, for six months straight, like giving content that I know my subscribers will love in my niche, that is, you know, to my specific audience in my niche. And then once I build this up, then I will start linking people out because I've built credibility with YouTube. So I hope you enjoy this. I actually have um, another video about this um, called YouTube Algorithms. I will link it out at the very top and you guys can watch that and you'll get even more information about YouTube Algorithms for 2019. And with that being said, guys, um, make it a great day. I will see you guys in another video. Adios.